All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta, learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 67. All right. So our function needs to get the values from the entries the user is added, right? Uh, we're going to declare a breakfast number inputs variable and give it the value of calling document.query selector all with the selector breakfast, pardon me, the breakfast ID and input type equals number. And this is going to return any number inputs that are in the breakfast ID element. All right. So that makes sense. Let's go look at the uh, HTML. So let's look for the breakfast ID again. Where are we? Breakfast ID, where you at? Uh, right here. So whenever there's inputs in here, this thing's going to look for numbers, right? So when, the, when we put the inputs inside here with that other thing, what was that thing we were using? Uh, with this thing, it's going to look for numbers, right? So that's pretty much what's going on here. So let's uh, skip a line since these are uh, function calls and uh, what, are they, what are these things called? The uh, variable re whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not good with voids. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to say uh, const breakfast number inputs. And we're going to variable reassignments. How about that? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, breakfast number inputs equals, and then we're going to do document, document dot uh, query selector all. And inside of here, we're going to put uh, the hashtag. No, no, no. We're going to put the uh, quotes and then we're going to put hashtag. Uh, breakfast, and then we'll put input, and then we'll put the brackets, and inside the brackets we'll put type equals number. All right. And that should take care of it. Uh, let's cap it off with a semicolon like this, and check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 68, and we'll see you next time.